I'd like to tie for you gold ribbed hair sear wet fly. The hook I have on the vise is wet fly hook size 12 and the thread I'm going to use is black 6 odd. Let me start the thread behind the eye of the hook <coughs> and I'm going to stop at the band of the hook. trim off the excess. For the tail I'm going to use some of the barbels of this ginger colored feather. And I want the tail to be the length of the hook shank. For the rib, I'm going to use golden oil tinsel. Yeah, I can tie that down now. Trim out this excess. bring the thread back. For the body <coughs> I'm going to use hair sear dubbing. And I'm going to do a couple of wraps between the tail and the tinsel. That will prevent tinsel from sliding down towards the tail later on. I'm going to add just a little bit more of dubbing. And I'm going to wrap the tinsel. Four wraps. That's good enough. Tie that down. And trim out the excess. For the heckle. I'm going to use brown soft heckle. I already have that heckle prepared. I'm going to tie that down by the tip. Make a couple of wraps in front. Trim off the excess. And I'm going to 
make a couple of wraps. that with a thread. Couple wraps in front. Trim off the excess. <clears throat> For the wings I'm going to use duck quill. I have two feathers in pair and I have the wings already prepared for this fly and I want the wings to be just a little bit longer than the body to the half of the tail measure that and tie them down Loose loop, pull down, another loose loop, pull down. And now they should be in place. off the excess, advance my thread towards the eye and start cleaning up and forming the head. Give it a whip finish. Cement. And here we have gold ribbed hair sear wet fly. Thank you for watching my video. Feel welcome to subscribe and tight lines.